Hey everyone, QB King 77 here from the Android Creative Syndicate team here to do a video showing you how to route the uh, HTC Evo Shift 4G for Sprint. Um, it's the most updated method as of today, which is August 20th. So I will obviously keep you guys updated as well as new route methods become available. Anyways, uh, what you're going to first need to do is you're going to need to install the drivers for your phone on your computer. But before I do that, I'm going to go to settings, about phone, and show you guys go to software information. I am on Android 2.2, as you can see. If your Android version is 2.3, you are out of luck with this process, actually. Right now, there's only a temporary route for Android 2.3 on the shift. Um, if you did accept the over-the-air update to 2.3, there is no method to permanently route your phone yet. So this is only for Android 2.2. So just a heads up there. Um, from your, uh, you can actually now go ahead and click on the link in the description. All links to this, uh, to what I'm showing you will be in the description. Take you to the HTC website. Um, if you don't have HTC Sync on your computer, go ahead and download it and install it. If you do, you can actually skip through this part. I'm actually going to show you what happens. Go to your downloads. It should be set up 3.0.5551. Just double click on that and hit yes. And now just go ahead and hit OK and it'll start the install for HCC Sync. What it's it's going to do is install the drivers and HCC Sync as well on your computer. Um, welcome, just hit next. Disable virus protection software before you do this and then re enable when it's done. Accept, hit co make sure complete is checked, hit next and then hit install. What it's going to do is now just install for you guys. I guess what I can have you do is now go ahead and go to your phone and go to menu, settings, and then applications, and then development, and then check USB debugging right there, and then hit OK. So just make sure USB debugging is checked. You're going to need to do that in the future. Still installing the drivers on my PC as you can see. What you're actually going to do once this is done installing is uninstall H only HTC Sync. Um, you're going to, what, what HTC Sync can do is kind of hog the USB when your phone is plugged in. So I'm going to have you guys uninstall HTC Sync before you do any of these things. Just, it says complete. Just go ahead and hit finish. Now what you're going to need to do is hit the start button, go to control panel, and then go to uninstall a program once this control panel loads. Taking its time. Go to uninstall a program, and then scroll down and find HTC Sync which is right there as you can see click on it but you do have two HTC drivers up above it do not delete those just HTC sync hit on install are you sure hit yes preparing to remove let it uh, uninstall sync hit yes and then it should uninstall and you won't have HCC Sync anymore, but you will have the drivers. Uninstalling HCC Sync is not going to uninstall the drivers for you. And now, as you can see, no more HTC Sync. So now you can just go ahead and go to your phone. What I'm going to have you do is go ahead and power it off. I'm going to show you guys something you're going to need to check. Um, there's actually a bootloader security that HTC has. It's um, it's either S on or S off. If it's S on, that means the security is on for to check if you're rooted when you boot up your phone. If it's S off, then you're allowed to boot your phone because it won't check and make sure. So now we're going to need to boot into the bootloader. Um, and to do this, what you need to do is go ahead and press volume down and the power button at the same time. So press and hold those two buttons at the same time and now you are actually in the bootloader um, as you can see up at the top once that focuses anyway 
that you do have S on right there, um, which means the security is on. We're going to need to turn that S off first before you can root and have clockwork mod. So that would be, that's going to be the initial step. Sorry, it's not focusing at all. Sorry about that, guys. But anyways, as you can see, you have other options as well. You, you, while this is the bootloader, you got fast boot recovery, factory reset, simlock, and then CRC. Um, you, to navigate with the bootloader, you use volume up and down and power button select. Um, now just go ahead and reboot your phone. Go ahead and go to fast boot and then just hit reboot. And it will go ahead and reboot your phone back up. So now what I'm going to have you do is click on the other link in the description. Um, thanks to Amo Amer for doing this for us. Uh, it's kind of like a one click route for, our, for the HTC Evo Shift. Um, go ahead and scroll down and give us information about what it is. Um, and then hit download v1 here download now um, it's going to download to your pc it's going to look like download and it's called shift rr.rar um, you're going to need either winzip winrar or 7zip to extract this i have winrar so double click on it as you can see it's got folders and an exe file um, what I do is I go ahead and go to my desktop and then just make a folder. It's called shift root. Um, as you can see, maybe that'll focus. There it is. It's called shift root, this folder right here. Um, all I do is hit extract to and then go navigate to that shift root folder, which I have on my desktop, which is right here. Just shift root, click on it, hit OK. It's going to extract all the files to that folder. I'm going to double click on that folder now. And as you can see in that folder is all those other folders and the exe file. So now what you're going to need to do is double click on shift rr.exe. And here is the actually exit out of it and right click on it and hit run as administrator. And hit yes. Now <clears throat> you have the application open. You got a picture of the shift right there. Um, you can check your root status. Uh, you can root your phone, install recovery, uh, and back up your WiMAX keys. So now what you're going to need to do is go ahead and go to your phone, click on Market. Um, you're just going to need to install an app called ROM Manager. So once Market loads, go ahead and hit Search and type in ROM. ROM Manager pops up right there. Looks like this right here, free. Click on it and hit install. So install ROM Manager on your phone. You won't need it initially, so don't open it. You'll just, um, just let it install. Now what you can do is go back to that application called Shift RR like this and what you can do is plug in your phone obviously you're going to need to double check make sure you have usb debugging on menu settings applications development and usb debugging which is checked on my phone all right you can now go ahead and just go ahead and plug in your shift now plug it into your computer now that you know that um usb debugging is on you can see USB debugging connected. You can just hit charge only and hit done. Um, now once it's plugged in, you can go back to the Shift RR program and then just go ahead and hit root. It says, does your phone have ENG HBoot installed already? If so, click yes. What this is asking you is if your phone is S on or S off. If your phone is S on, then you hit no to turn it S off to turn the security off. If your phone is S off, you'll hit yes. So my phone is S on, so I'm going to hit no. It's going to run through and turn S off for me. And it says ENG H boot installed successfully. It's not safe to reboot your phone. Hit OK. Go to your phone, power it on down, and shut it on off. I'm going to go ahead and unplug it as well. Just have it unplugged. So now you're just going to need to reboot your phone, so power it back on once it fully shuts off. <gasps> like so. Once it powers back on, I'm actually going to just plug it right back in 
to be honest this actually this process might uh, you might need to turn USB debugging back on I'm gonna check it once I boot back up to make sure USB debugging is still on because it will need to be to run through this entire process so once it boots up I'm gonna double check and make sure USB debugging is enabled but uh, your phone should be S off now you could boot back into the bootloader and see that it says S off if you wanted to but anyways I'm gonna unlock it let it load up take some time go to menu settings applications development and USB debugging is still checked so no need to turn it back on so now now that it's booted back up I can go ahead and actually plug it back into the computer and just hit charge only again when it asks and now you can go back and hit root so now you can just go ahead and hit root and it comes up with the same screen your S is off now so you can just hit yes so hit yes it will run through on here for you. Pushing BusyBox, mounting system, everything needed to root your phone. It says root success. So now I'm gonna go back to my phone and see that super user should be there. There it is, super user is in my app drawer. So now I'm just gonna reboot my phone once again. So go ahead and power it off. And I'm going to reboot it again. I find that this reboot step has helped to ensure that it roots properly. I guess I can unplug it again. And now that it is powered off, I'm going to just turn it right back on. <clears throat> just rebooting it to get the system, uh, just let the system settle. Now that it is rooted, and another key feature that I'm going to show you guys is backing up your WiMAX keys. That's a pretty big thing. You can do that in Clockwork, so I can show you using this app, or just do it in Clockwork and have it on your SD card. And then once this boots back up, I'm going to actually go into the ROM manager app and flash clockwork mod recovery to give me clockwork so I can flash ROMs, etc. Themes, kernels, any of that good stuff. But if you do only want just to be rooted, you don't need to flash anything with clockwork, you could only do that first process and just have super user and if you just want to use a root app such as root explorer to delete system system apps or anything like that. So now you can go into ROM Manager and just hit OK and OK again and then just hit Flash Clockwork Mod Recovery and click Evo Shift which it recognizes as your phone and then allow it super user access because you are rooted so this is proof that you are rooted and have super user access so hit allow and once it's done it will say successfully flashed clockwork mod recovery go ahead and hit ok and then just back out of it and now well i guess you don't need to back out of it you can go back into rom manager and just hit reboot into recovery and just hit ok that's going to actually take you to recovery you can actually um, go into the bootloader and there's a recovery option you can navigate to that as well if you want to um, as I showed earlier how to get into the bootloader but now as you can see I have clockwork mod recovery 3.2.0.1 I'm now rooted and have clockwork mod on my HTC Evo Shift 4G running Android 2.2 as I said so same way to navigate through clockwork as the bootloader um, volume up and down to navigate through it and power button to select so if I want to reboot my system back on or power it off, I can actually show you. I'm going to power it down, hit power off, and hit the power button to select. So now that my phone has powered off, so now I'm going to go ahead and go into the bootloader, which is volume down and power button at the same time as I said. Just go ahead and go into the bootloader, the white screen that I showed you. And as you can see up at the top, 
you have S off. So obviously since you're rooted and you have Clockwork Mind, you're S off, but just to show you guys that that program does give you S off. Um, you got fast boot recovery, factory reset, sim lock system info, image. So now, as I said, you can go into the bootloader if you want to do it manually and just hit recovery and click on it and then pull power button to select and then you should have clockwork mod version 3.2.0.1 just like that so there you go now you can go ahead and feel free to put ROMs on your SD card flash them I will do some how-to videos for that as well showing you how to flash ROMs, kernels, themes, etc something that I actually want to show you guys as well is I want you guys to back up your WiMAX keys just as a safety precaution if anything does happen to happen while you are flashing ROMs, etc. So now that you're in Clockwork Mod Recovery, I want you to go ahead and navigate down to where it says Backup and Restore. So go down to Backup and Restore, press the power button, and then hit Backup. It's going to make an Android backup of what your current setup. And it's, as you can see, it says Backing Up WiMAX. It's actually going to back up your entire system setup. So what that's going to do is if maybe you have a problem and uh, you need to restore from a previous setup, if I restore this Nandroid backup, it's going to restore everything back to how it was. So it's going to put it on the SD card, so make sure that you have a backup on your SD card, an Android backup. Also, if you do want to flash a ROM and you like the current setup that you have now and you want to save it, you can make an Android backup of that in case you want to test files or something like that. It will allow you to make backups of your exact same setup and restore that exact same setup. So be patient with the backup. It does take a little while. And then once it's done, just go ahead and reboot your phone. Everything will work normal. Um, if you do have any questions, feel free to ask, leave a comment, send me a message. I'll be happy to help you out. Uh, if you do have suggestions for future how-to videos, I will make a video showing you how to unroot and get everything back to stock if you do need to take it back to Sprint as well. So be prepared for a video like that as well. But as always, you can follow me on Twitter at QBKing77. I'll post links in the description. Uh, feel free to subscribe to me as well. I'll be doing future videos for the Shift, uh, the Nexus, and hopefully the Epic very soon as well again. So as always, um, thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video.